here's how to do grocery shopping. Make sure you have reusable bags and then ones like these keep like your cold stuff cold so it doesn't like spoil in the right bag. And make sure to bring a shopping list <laughs> so that you don't forget things you need or buy things that you don't need. Some fruit is sold um, by weight so you can check how much it is per pound. And some fruit is sold per unit, like two for three dollars. Okay, and then squeeze the fruit to make sure it's not too hard or too soft. Yeah. <laughs> Here we have normal broccoli. It is just $1.99 each. But over here, we have organic broccoli and it's $6.99 each. Lots of times organic is a lot more expensive, but you should consider buying it because it is much healthier for you. Uh, when you're buying eggs, make sure to look inside the carton and check the eggs to make sure that none of them are sticky or broken already. products especially dairy you want to check to make sure of like the expiration date so then like this one is June 3rd and then this one is June 6th so you want to make sure you check it so that it doesn't like expire like really soon so you don't get to check it. Um, when looking at the dates on foods you should check to see if it says use by um, or sell by or best by because they're different things. So sell by is just the date that the, that the store will keep it on their shelves and you can still use the product after the sell by date. For um, best buy, it's you probably should use the item before that date but it won't like immediately expire after the date. And then for use by, that means it will be expired by that date and you should not consume it after that getting pasta like if you don't know what to cook they do have like little recipes in the back that you can do like that's made like specifically for like the pasta so like if you don't know what to make can we tell uh, when buying meat in the deli you should look for a sign that says take a number and then you take a little slip from the and then you just take your number will come up up there and that's when the guy behind the counter can help you so food that's pre-made at the deli can look pretty good, but it's kind of expensive. Lots of things, lots of the things at the deli counter you could make yourself if you buy the raw ingredients for a lot cheaper. Um, don't buy too much produce in advance because it can go bad. And then there are also websites like coupon.com where you can go and like you can get coupons for individual items. So make sure to look outside for any like fresh seasonal produce. Check the store hours to make sure you don't go when it's closed. When you're checking out, usually you can sign up for a rewards account with the grocery store to get money back and hear about deals and sales. Thanks for watching our how to grocery shop like an adult video. I hope you learned something new that will help you later in life. Are you running one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>